Hey guys, Nick Clark here, welcome to Focus Fitness Training. Today, today we're doing my new video, which is my best and favourite upper body band exercises. Now, we all know gyms will be opening very, very soon, but there will be some sort of restrictions when we do go back. We do know that. But if, you're, if you've become used to training at home, or you prefer to train at home, then this is definitely the video for you. Now, if you have some bands, then fantastic. If you don't, I would definitely invest in some because they are a well worthwhile piece of equipment to have, especially if you are training at home. Okay? Even for traveling, they are very, very useful pieces of equipment. Okay? You can get them online very, very easily and very, very cheaply in an array of different sort of strengths and sort of different designs as well. Okay? But for, without further ado, we're gonna get on to the uh, rest of the video. First exercise <coughs> is a chest fly. Okay, now I'm going to get the band, I've wrapped it around a staircase so I've got something sturdy so I know it's not going to move. I'm going to do a staggered stance where one foot forward, one back. Okay, and get myself comfortable and then fly forward. Okay, just turn a little bit, see it better. Okay, really try and feel the activation in your chest. Keep your shoulders back and down, not forward. Okay. Uh, so you really feel the chest activate when you're doing that nice and slow control reps okay and then release gently and slowly when you're done now uh, rep range wise because these are bands I would usually say do between three to four sets to failure okay and that is the rep that is what I'm gonna give you, give you guys and I'm gonna set is to failure till you pretty much can't do another good formed rep or at least maybe leave one or two in a tank so that you can actually let the band go back nice and gently. You do not want to be snapping the bands or letting them go very, very, very quickly. You will injure yourself or hurt something or somebody. Okay, so try and maybe leave one or two in a tank so that you can actually control yourself on the eccentric portion of the exercise. Uh, <coughs> when you're doing this. But if you can only do say 10 to 12 repetitions, then stick with the 10 to 12 repetitions of three to four sets uh, and see how that works for you. But I generally, I would set these sorts of things more or less sort of around to failure point. Okay, uh, and that will be set with all the exercises in this video. Now, next one we're gonna do is gonna be hitting the upper back, is gonna be hitting those traps. Now, if we wanna be hitting the upper back, we wanna have the elbows nice and high. Really, we don't want to be having them down close by the sides, we're going to be hitting more of the lats by doing that. So, in this one, we're going to be doing standing rows. Now, you could do this kneeling or seated, um, but I'm going to do it standing. I'm going to have a slight lean back as well, make sure I get enough tension on the band, and then I'm going to pull back. All right, so nice and high, nice slow control reps. Really sort of feeling that contraction in the muscles. Like so. Now when you're doing that one, you want to try and get your arm past the sort of the midline. Okay, you want to be stopping here or here. You want to be going all the way back. You want to try and get your shoulder blades to squeeze together as much as you possibly can. Uh, that way you're going to get proper activation. You're going to get good full range of motion. And uh, like I say, you're going to feel that that contraction a lot more. Even if, if like you to sort of do a pause at the end of the rep and then let it back nice and slowly. And that will really sort of help you sort of uh, get some really good, well-defined um, and uh, sort of bulky traps. Okay, but I find that's one of the best exercises to, to hit your upper back. Now, to hit the biceps in this one, um, you're hitting the inner portion of your biceps. Um, they're called leaning curls. So again, you get the band, you get a good amount of tension. Um, <coughs> lean forward with a, again, with a staggered sort of uh, stance, and then you curl forward, like so. Now this, I say, is gonna be hitting more of the inner portion of the bicep, because studies have shown, obviously, when your arm is behind your body, you're gonna hit the inner portion of your bicep much, much more. And the further back behind your body it is, the uh, obviously stronger the contraction and the slightly better gains you can even get. So again, lean forward and curl like 
so really feel that. I mean, I could feel that even just after a few reps. Okay, and again, let back gently. But again, as I said with all the exercises, between three to four reps. Uh, now, if you're going to do 10 to 12 reps, then do 10 to 12. But I would necessarily set these all to failure. Okay? Uh, but that was for the biceps. The next one is for the shoulder. Okay, so we're going to unhook the band. And I'm going to step on it with uh, my foot in the middle of the band. Okay? Have the band slightly behind me. And then I pull it up and behind my shoulders. Now, I don't want my shoulders sort of like in line with my sort of size of my body or too far back. I want them slightly forward, as if you were doing like with a normal shoulder overhead press, okay? And then press up, okay? Like so. And the reason, obviously, you want your shoulders uh, in this sort of position is the way the shoulder blades sit naturally. They don't sit back flat like this or, or all, all the way back here. They sit like this naturally in your body, so that is um, a better way to sort of be doing an overhead press. Plus, you're going to hit in the front and the middle of the shoulder at the same time, so you're going to be hitting sort of two birds with one stone on that one. But like I say, try and keep your arms at that sort of angle. Nice sort of overhead press. Uh, now, again, you can do that kneeling or seated. Um, but I prefer to do it standing uh, because it requires just a, a bit more sort of athleticism um, in the exercise. Um, so I find that's a great one, uh, especially to be hitting your shoulders with bands, um, especially if you're training at home. Now, I'm going to go over here for this one is <coughs> going to be an assisted pull-up. Now, pull-ups are great to do, but if people do struggle to, I mean, some people do str struggle to do pull-ups. Okay, and uh, if you do struggle, then having a band is a great way to sort of help you build your strength up and assist you until you actually have the strength to do pull-ups by yourself. So what we do is hook your knee in, as you can see, okay, or foot. If you've got a really long band, you would grab your bar, you know, get yourself, get a nice sort of deep grip in in the bar, in the palm of your hand, not in the sort of edges of your fingers because uh, you can really sort of do yourself some damage, okay, so nice deep grip, down you go, and then up, pull your lats, not your arms, nice and high, okay, and then release the band nice and gently when you've finished. Again, maybe leave one or two in a tank, just so that you can actually control yourself on the descent and let the band back down so it's nice and safe for you. Okay guys, but that is again pull-ups, but especially on pull-ups, I would do those uh, to failure. But again, if you need to leave one or two in a tank just to be safe, then I would do that. Now next one is for the biceps, but again, this one we're gonna be hitting the outer portion of the biceps. So again, get enough tension, lean back slightly, and because your arms are elevated, you have shoulder flexion, right? I'd say that's going to hit the outer portion of the bicep, and you sort of just naturally curl like so. Okay, but I'd say you have a slight lean back to add a little bit of extra tension. Also, having your arms up like this means you can get a slightly better contraction by lifting your arms up slightly. In the bicep so if you want to add that in you can do or you can just stick with the elevated curls like so okay and you find that really sort of cinches and you really start to feel it not just on your peak but you do start to feel it on the outside of the biceps so it's a great one to do now with the same band in the same position or just facing the other way, we're gonna do our triceps. Now try and keep your elbows facing forwards. If you want out or flared or up like this. Okay, try and keep them facing forwards, like I said, and then do a triceps overhead extension. Push forward, try and get a nice deep stretch.
and then when you reach failure then obviously let it go back but nice and gently as always uh, but again that's going to be hitting obviously the nice deep stretch should help sort of try and target uh, the long head sort of the really sort of meaty part of your bo uh, your tricep uh, because that does tend to get neglected quite a bit okay so that's really good one to do uh, you, you can get that nice sort of stretch on the triceps <coughs> now this is the last one on our list and it is face pulls now you should know by now i like to do face pulls i like to sort of have good posture uh, because if you don't have good posture, you do have that, that sort of tendency to have round your shoulders and a kind of a little bit of a hunch. That's never a good look really for anyone uh, of uh, for any age. Okay, uh, Having that sort of hunch is not good. It, like I say, it can cause health problems uh, and postural problems later on in life uh, or even slightly sooner. Um, so I prefer to sort of try and get a sort of postural sort of exercise in there that's going to help benefit you as a person. Okay, and help benefit your posture as well. Now we know usually a lot of face pulls are done and they're the sort of way, okay? They're sort of very internally rotated and yes, it's to the face. Obviously, hence their name face pull. But a way we can do it better is by adding some external rotation into it by helping your posture, okay? And it's bringing it back and trying to get the forearms or the upper part of your arm, your forearm behind, much further back than your elbows. Okay, you don't want your elbows further back. You want your arms, your forearms, to be going further back. Okay, so even if it means stepping forward slightly and releasing a little bit more tension, and then doing it that way. As you can see, a little bit better from that angle. My arms are actually going slightly further than my elbows. Okay. And we'll still be able to hit the rotator cuff muscles, the rear shoulders, and traps. Even hitting the forearms slightly, the grip. And again, I'll also slightly lean back as well to create, create a little bit more tension. But as I say, face pulls are going to be a great one. Not only are they hitting the rear shoulders and obviously the upper back, like the traps and that but are hitting those rotator cuff muscles that need to be worked as well. Every muscle should be worked as much as it should be uh, to every single possibility. Uh, no muscle should ever be left out of any of your training. Okay, uh, so we need, I like to sort of try and cover everything we can. Uh, but in this one, I'd say rotator cuff muscles are very, very important to train. Now, yes, you can do some of the internal rotation um, with like a band, uh, obviously like the subscapularis which sits underneath the shoulder blade. Yes, that does need working, but also so do the external rotators as well. Okay, but anyway guys, that was the last exercise in this video. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and a like. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and here on the YouTube channel, Focus Fitness. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and link below. All the links are going to appear above my head very soon. I'll be sticking some other videos here as well, uh, other band videos. So if you haven't checked those out, make sure that you do. Um, also, guys, if you felt that I left anything out in the video or any exercises for the upper body, then let, leave that in the comment section below. Let me know. Um, also, if you've got other suggestions for other videos or more videos like this, then let me know. And obviously, I'll try and get those done for you. Um, <clears throat> Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so you can follow us every single step of the way. And if you think it's going to help a friend or a family member, then get them to subscribe as well and hit that bell notification so you can all follow us every single step away every time we release new content on the channel. But as I said, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it that thumbs up like because it really will help, truly, truly help the channel. Um, and as I said, but um, as I said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, obviously give it a thumbs up like. I'll see you guys very, very soon. But as always, guys, stay focused.